Hi, this is Miss Guyon, and I'm going to go over how to make a correlation graph using a spreadsheet. First, you have to find the data that you want to graph. In this case, we're going to be comparing yellow eel weight to mercury concentration. Before you make the graph, you need to select the data. The easiest way to select data is to highlight the two columns by pressing your mouse on the letter of the column. So for this example, I'm going to put my mouse over the A, hold it down, and see how it highlights the whole column, and then go over and select the B column. Whenever you select data, remember that the leftmost column is always going to be on your x-axis, and then other data sets are going to be on your y-axis. In this case, I want to compare yellow wheel weight to mercury concentration and see if there's a correlation. So after I've selected the data, I'm going to go up to the chart button. And when the box comes up for correlation, the best graph chart to, tie, uh, to pick is XY scatter. And for correlation, we do not want to select the points and lines. We just want the points. Before saying finish, we need to label it properly. So for this one, we can title it Correlation Between Yellow Heel Weight and Mercury Concentration. Then we have to label our axes. Again, remember the left-hand column is your x-axis data. So in this case, it would be Yellow Heel Weight and it's in grams. Make sure to put units. On the y-axis it's mercury concentration and that's in PPV which stands for parts per billion. If you're only um, graphing one y set of data you don't necessarily need your legend. If you're doing more than one like a time series you probably want to keep the legend on there and then say finish. We're almost done. We want to see what the trend is, so we want to add a trend line. Make sure your graph is selected. If you see this gray border around it, that means it's highlighted. If you click off of it and unselect it, then it, the gray goes away. But ours is selected, so you go up into the Insert button. So go up to the Insert in your menu and say insert trend lines and you have to kind of look at your data and see what make, seems to make the most sense in this case it's probably linear you can always just kind of move it to the side and say okay and yes that seems to follow the pattern of data you can also go back and try other ones to see if they fit better once you have this done um, it's not um, easy to print out this way so we're going to do a screen sort of a print screen or is using a snipping tool most of the school computers have a snipping tool if you go down to your start button and then go up to snipping tool a window will come up and what we can do is highlight our graphs and once that comes up then you use your mouse and hold down your mouse to select the area you want to snip out to copy then you do edit copy or control C then go back and you need to open up a new text document and you can press control V to paste it in or edit paste will work as well if you want to resize a graph, it's important that you resize it in a particular way. You want to come down to one of the corners and hold down the shift button and then resize it. That way it keeps the aspect ratio and it doesn't look squished. For example, if I were just to take this and push it in, everything including the text looks weird. Always do control Z to undo. And then it will get back to where it was, I think. So this is the end of the tutorial on how to make a correlation graph and how to get it into a document. 
Once you have the document, you can add your language to describe it and make a claim. If you have any questions, please see me or Mr. Lindsay. Thank you.